You're watching Fight Commentary Breakdowns. This is Nico, Nico Alsup versus Leonel Briones. Leno is a pretty successful MMA amateur fighter, and he's a brown belt in jiu-jitsu. He, he lost that exchange. Who's ever foot hits the ground first, unless you pull the other guy off with you. So Sifu Nico is a Tai Chi Sifu man. He is fluid. He also got size, right? He got size on Leono. But Leono is the MMA guy. He's probably had at least 20 years of MMA training. Oh! So the foot pads are raised, if you see. And the back foot pad moves. So these are two flaws in designs that I told Jan about. I wasn't too happy about. Because if it's fixed step, so that didn't count because both of them fell off. If it's fixed step, the back foot pad shouldn't move. So that's something that kind of went against what people were expecting. But again, this is the first event that I know of, first push hands events that I know of in California. So I think we can forgive some of these design flaws, but yeah, it didn't end up completely, completely fixed up. So Lando lost those two exchanges because he got pushed off. And Nico just, you know, he's got this, Look at that. Oh, so that didn't count. But Nico is just, you can tell he just has this understanding of center, right? From his Tai Chi training. So, Lano, the MMA fighter, and brown belt in Jiu Jitsu. Oof. Nico's like a wall. It's impossible to push him right now. So now they're switching feet. So you get. Seven exchanges on one side and seven exchanges on the other side. And I believe it's seven. I forgot. But So now they switch lead legs and they go. Oof. So if you look, what Nico's really good at is, first of all, he's calm. He's calm. But another thing he's really good at, he's able to kind of redirect the force in multiple directions. He doesn't insist on going in one way, right? Which is very Tai Chi of him, at least with sort of the popular understanding of Tai Chi. Also, if you notice, he's not really looking at the opponent. Ooh, look at that. His body's moving almost like a willow. Or like a wave. Nice. So if you look at Nico, his right foot is almost gripping the edge of the foot pad in the back. So that probably gives him some extra leverage. Oof, don't play into his game. Okay, well, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Nico's having fun. In between rounds, when other contestants were going, Nico was just dancing. I'm serious, he was dancing. So, again, he's taking this seriously, but also he's in the mindset of, okay, well, I'm going to flow with people, right? They always start with one of their back palms, look at that, facing each other and then the other hand touching the elbow. So Nico won this. So now this is Jason. Jason put on this tournament. He's also an MMA guy. He's had eight fights. <laughs> That's Nico being funny. Um, and Jason is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and he's done many other arts. So he's the MMA guy. Nico's just always been a... Tai Chi guy. So, Jan Lucanus is a Tai Chi champion from back in the day. He's the ref. So, here they go. Let's see how Jason does. So, see, Jason's trying to drop his hip, but mm, gets pushed off. Hip position is the first thing to pay attention to, but it's not enough, right? You also have to really feel the force, especially someone like Nico. Look at Nico. Woo so. I think what we see here is that Nico's body is super connected. I don't know if it's the fascia or something. Whereas, oh, so both of them went off the platform. So that didn't count in these fixed up rules. It's really cool observing Nico. His body's really connected and his awareness of center is amazing. So Jason's trying an arm drag. Oof, but Nico took that force that Jason was using and made Jason fall. So 
if you fall on your face or you fall on your knees, it's two points for the other side. But if you just step off like that, it's one point. So, <laughs> Jason was telling you, you want to try it? <laughs> there was a guy here at the competition who was just mouthing off the whole time. He was really annoying. So I'm not going to feature that guy. That guy was so annoying. So Jason might have been talking to that guy. So Jason trying to... He's playing into Nico's game, man. When Nico's going calm, he's trying to go calm too. So Nico lulls him. So... Jason's in his head, man. Jason's focusing on one area, you see? He's only focusing on one area now. He's not thinking about the whole body. He's not thinking about the center, the zhongxing. So, there's a little bit of mind game, too. Jason's thinking. See, he's thinking limbs. He's not thinking the entire zhongxing, the center. This is interesting. So, now they switch foot, right? Switch to the other lead leg. And here they go. They decide, look at that. <laughs> they didn't switch the front foot pads around so the colors match. So. Jason going for that left arm of Nico. Look at that. Nico just. <laughs> look at that. Oh, Jason. Oh, Jason. Trouble. Jason. Trouble. Oh, man. <laughs> this little cool little vibration. <laughs> Jason getting frustrated. Oh, I'm going to jump kick you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um So like, oh Jason kind of just came for me. Come on, Jason. So MMA guy is getting so frustrated by the Tai Chi guy right now. <laughs> so yeah, Nico's I don't know about his fight ability, but his Tai Chi abilities, especially with push hands, is really awesome. He's moving his body in a different way than I've seen any other Tai Chi guys go. Look at his kind of bouncing vibrating type of thing that he's doing so i've never seen any other tai chi guy do that before in the push hands type of way usually when you look at push hands you just see a lot of muscling right but nico's got something more so it's really impressive to see this and that's why i wanted to feature this because i see what maybe the theoretical understanding of tai chi is i see it a lot in nico whereas a lot of these other tai chi masters when they actually try to use their skill, it's just muscling or it looks like wrestling. But this looks different. At least under these fixed step push hand rules, you can see what we usually associate with Tai Chi. Whereas Jason, who's also done some Tai Chi, but he looks like an MMA guy trying to do Tai Chi, right? Whereas Nico just looks like a Tai Chi guy. So extremely impressive here. And here we go. Oh, Jason's gonna... Yeah, he got this. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, Jason just gave up. He's like, Nico, you can have my money. 